Okay, so the last couple of days, you might have been looking at the crypto space thinking, that's not too good. That's not the excitement that I committed for. What's going on and what are we doing next? Well, let me tell you. There's nothing better than price movements like the ones we're seeing right now. When prices are coming down is when opportunity is made. And I'm telling you right now, this is one of the best times historically to accumulate. I know many will not believe me, Many are doubtful and it's very hard to grasp this when things are going down. But right now, as it stands, I am preparing for the next harder crypto run by buying some altcoins. And I will say this, we're not at maximum bleed yet, meaning there's definitely an opportunity for altcoins and even Bitcoin to go down lower. But see this as a pre video. So see this as a let's say something even worse were to happen what are we focusing on and let's just say that the the market starts to recover what is it we're looking at and i think the sector that's really going to pop off again i know it sounds crazy but hey i still believe so is ai slash deepin deepin standing for distributed computing there's actually a couple other abbreviations for it but let's just say it's that because let's be real here the numbers that these guys like elon musk are going to be putting into ai i think it's so severe the numbers are so serious that it's just worth preparing for at any time of the week any day of the week and by the way it's not just elon musk if it was only elon musk i wouldn't be here sitting and advocating for all this stuff but deep in ai it's one of the hottest topics but there's a point it's not a phase it's not something that's hot and hyped that will be over soon it most likely hasn't found its pinnacle yet it's just at the start whereas rwa bitcoin layer twos are more seasonal we all know rwas will only keep getting bigger in crypto but i'd say we really haven't seen the the real start of it yet you're mostly just investing for something that's gonna hopefully pop off whereas with ai coins we've seen a massive rally on ai whereas with rwa we saw a slight excitement wave mostly because we know blackrock is getting into the tokenization of everything which is basically keeping people saying oh yeah it's gonna be coming but with ai coins i think there's a lot more proof that it is here right now and again if we take a look at what some of the big guys are saying quote top tech cfo says ai is no blip or hype it's tech's historic moment and his numbers back that up this is christian klein the ceo of software group sap during their annual press conference and part of the story here brings me back to why i said not just ai but also deep in because for a lot of the ai new things you're going to need the backing the gpus the 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 computing power and so a lot of those crypto products i'm also really excited about and i know many of you guys just want me to name a top coin list but here comes the kicker and the problem i have a, a certain list of coins that i bought that i'm excited for and some that i've invested into that have not even hit the market yet i'm always excited about those because if you get the chance to buy early I recommend anybody to do that it's way more profitable however and here comes the biggest kicker as ai and the crypto space pops off more and we get into a more raging bull market i'll be honest with you many of the coins that are going to go crazy as that season either have not been thought of or we just are not fully sure of i can name a lot of ai coins that i think are pretty good in the basis but so can i for just top cryptos that are really good in essence yet the hype might not fully be there the most important thing to understand is the sector specification of which exact cryptos can come way later because i personally see these crypto segments um, as just sector or basically like index investing where you're just investing in deep in slash ai cryptos as a concept you're investing in a lot of different ones not just in one or two to basically have exposure for when the sector pops off which i personally think is quite inevitable and the reason i'm not naming one or two is because you sometimes are off and so you have to go for a bigger basket so when the sector pops off you are right and why specifically with ai coins do i say that with rwa with this that this it's a lot simpler why with ai coins is like that the main reason being if you ask yourself what does an ai crypto coin really do sometimes you could get kind of foggy what the coin does or at least what the use for it is uh, when we saw a couple of coins recently go for a merge a couple of ai coins people put up the question of well if they could just be replaced by three into one of a coin merger 
Were they all that useful in the first place? There are arguments for yes, and a merger just means a new token, not that the token is gone. Arguments for no, it was kind of stupid, otherwise you couldn't have replaced it. But it brings up a good core argument of, couldn't many other coins just basically all be bundled into one if they work together, since they all have got the same purpose, but I guess the only thing keeping them from doing that is greed. Anyway, the point of my story being, many coins are pretty garbage, or at least look garbage until we see the hype is there and that will mostly come when the market's already doing good because with ai the majority op of the opportunity is in grabbing your coins like i had with nosana where it just goes from 0.01 .01 to five dollars or whatever you get yourself a couple hundred x on that one or two lucky strikes by buying some random coins that are really down low in the rankings but those you cannot find i mean let's be serious in the top segment of ai coins things are pretty simple many of these coins right here will do really really well i think there's almost no way in which injective wouldn't pop off and tau just keeps on going fetch and a couple others are obviously going to all be merging together i think aos is going to absolutely destroy the competition and in the deep end space i have a similar sort of story with some of these coins um as i stated before can't find it real quick but rss3 also is in a really really good spot and and many of them oh here we go with rss3 many of them are in a similar sort of story right now they're down like 50 percent from their high point of a couple weeks ago some coins are even down like 60 65 percent but they'll most likely recover when the excitement in the altcoin space picks up which could take a while we can see some further downward pressure once it does it'll be severe yet the majority of gains is not made by buying a coin that's already at 200 million i mean rss3 we talked about a long time ago at some way lower prices let's say one third and i'd say the 60 million dollar market cap range is okay is is, is doable which is where it was at for the majority of the time that i was talking about it before but as it got towards the let's just say 400 million dollar range right here it's not as interesting because the max that it would do in like a few months there is a five or so x and it's good but it's not what we're looking for so if you really want those new launches new bangers a couple things to focus on are either launch pads i've done a video talking about how to buy coins early for the most part it's on launch pads Watching new hyped up releases and trying to be there very, very early. Watch for new narratives and new companies come in and join the block. And something that might sound really stupid to people, but it is be a little bit stupid when it comes to risk management. Again, not finished advice. My own thoughts, which you could consider stupid, but I think are smart. Go a little bit stupid when the market's really, really hot. Buy harder than you should be buying. Uh, and if it fails, you'll probably cry a little bit and fail really, really hard. But if it works, it works so well and that's the kicker with all this that <laughs> if you really want to make the majority of the gains your risk tolerance is going to have to be pretty high to really have the crazy success story but on the opposite side it's very rewarding and i think if it goes bad me personally i'm kind of numb to it of your crypto portfolio failing whereas if it does really really well the the high offsets the loss i know it's not responsible it's not smart but it's the way i like to roll in bull markets where your risk reward is just 99,000% better than at any other point in time, which again, it's only a span of like a few months where you can actively do this. If you're doing this when everything is crumbling down, you're, 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 you're a maniac, all right? Get yourself checked. But when we're in a raging bull market and you're just buying some coins that have just launched, crazy low market caps, willing to accept the risk, eh, that's my sort of stop. But anyway, the most important message here though is, if you thought that AI coins were dead because they've gone down 50 or so percent, just realize that the space is just getting started. It's growing. It's at like the start of a massive wave. I know the buzzword was perhaps a lot more out there a couple months back, but I personally think the real AI wave, the real AI excitement hasn't even started yet. People will still make crazy gains on it in the stock sector, but also in the crypto space probably a lot more than people are realizing right now just for the amount of x's it's going to grow as a concept you don't have to start investing right now but at least prepare mentally right now for what is available what type of coins are out there and if you focus in on just one sector or a few but specifically ai deep in i think it's really really hard to fail over the next few months and so a lot of people who are specializing in this right now will reap much success you can also start farming some test nets here and there uh, which are basically free to hopefully get yourself some airdrops soon. But once more, most altcoins in historic position to rally as traders realize heavy losses over the past month. Many people are very, very pessimistic right now because they think altcoins might never recover again. And that's the point where we start looking at altcoins thinking, hey, maybe getting into it is not really such a bad idea. When others are fearful, you should be hopeful or at least excited to buy the dip. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs>